Hello, Taurus empaths. <laughs> How are you, my friends? Oh, I am so excited to connect with you like this. This is a new, new adventure that we're going on together. And I feel like the timing could not be better. Already, I'm feeling... I feel you. I feel you, my friends. I do. I feel you. What I'm feeling is a heaviness. Um, man, oh man, that's taken me in. Whew, you guys have been going through. Let me just say this. I feel like you've been getting real beat up. And it feels like it's very internal. Like it's been a very internal I'm hearing deep bruising. This is like deep bruising. Have you ever, have you ever like hurt yourself so bad that the bruise didn't show up until like three or four days later and you're like, dang, like that must have knocked me up deep. That It's just now starting to bruise. This is what I'm feeling for you. I feel like you have been in a space of really like, I'm hearing living in woundedness, living in woundedness. And I feel like you're at a point right now where I'm connecting with you right now. You're at a point where it's like you want to transform that woundedness into wisdom. Or I'm, I'm actually, you already have transformed that woundedness into wisdom. And I feel like there's... <sighs> yeah, okay, okay. Honey, I'm getting a lot for you. <laughs> there's a lot. There's a lot that you have been reflecting on. There's a lot that I think that you have had to be honest with yourself about. I feel that there's some investments that you've made um, that didn't necessarily pay, I'm hearing pay out or play out the way that you really hoped for. And I can definitely feel that you do have that sense of faith. You do have that sense of determination. Um, but God dang it, does it hurt? Do you know what I mean? Like the pain, you feel so deeply. You feel so deeply. Like, it's interesting that the Torians that I know in my life, my daughter's a Taurus, by the way, so like I'm kind of partial, like you're kind of one of my favorites. But um, the Torians that I've known, like the adult Torians that I've known in my life, y'all feel things in a way that's like multifaceted that people couldn't <laughs> And people couldn't even understand the complexities of your emotional landscape because you feel things. I'm, I'm hearing it's such a broad and deep spectrum, your your emotional landscape. It's so, it's, it's breathtaking. I feel like it's really, truly breathtaking. You have the emotional capacity. <laughs> I'm laughing because it's like, I only wish people had like a fraction of your emotional capacity. I think this world would be... A much more beautiful place, a much more healing and helpful place. But for you, my loves, I feel that you're really in this space of, of trying to transform these, these deep scars, right? These deep scars that have been inflicted upon you. I'm also hearing it self-inflicted. I really do feel that you have a sense of ownership or accountability um, with whatever you've you've been through. I'm hearing recently and ongoing. So like this makes me feel like you've been you've been a part of something that really has been i'm hearing on again off again so this could be you know like something that you've been involved with and something that you haven't or something that has developed um over time but most recently i feel like i'm hearing fatal blow it's almost like you've been through something where it was like the, the fatal blow like this the straw that broke the camel's back the the final i mean grand finale the final break could be a breakup I just, I feel almost like a, there's a knot in your stomach because I feel like you've been punched in the gut so many times that now it's almost like you have this, I'm not going to say permanent, we'll say like a semi-permanent hardening rigidity within your solar plexus because it's like you've been so used to bracing yourself because you, you, this has been such a painful process and such a painful journey that you have been actually in the habit of bracing yourself for another gut punch and another gut punch and another gut punch and I feel that there's almost a part of you that is like um oh my god you're strong 
as I'm just, again, I'm just, I'm just channeling what I'm feeling, right? I'm just spitballing here. And this is just, this is so deep because I feel like no matter how many times you've been punched in the gut, no matter how many times you've been wounded, I'm hearing the word betrayed. I'm hearing lied to. Um, no matter how many times you have been through like the most painful of painful, you still rise above it. You still have this, okay, I'm actually hearing the word omnipresence. It's almost like you have an ability of seeing like, like not just a higher perspective, but like a 360 degree perspective of the situation or of the person that you've been dealing with. And this is, I'm hearing this is your crown and glory. The fact that you're even able to hold that position. It's almost like, <laughs> that's beautiful. I'm actually having this vision of you, my love, you having a halo, like a golden halo above you and actually moving your consciousness up into your halo and looking down so that you can have this, this higher, almost angelic perspective, which I'm hearing is, is needed. You need that right now. You need, you need that right now because this has absolutely, it's taken its toll. It's taken its toll. I feel that there's almost like you had to get out of the danger. You had to get out of the crossfire. You had to get out of harm's way. And so I feel that you actually have removed yourself from um, or are in the process of removing yourself. Sometimes it's complicated, right? It takes steps to remove yourself from something that you were really invested in and involved in. But I feel like you, you have made the choice. You have made the decision to remove yourself. But there's still this like, <laughs> I'm hearing wound licking. It's like you still have to lick your wounds so that they seal. But what's really interesting is I don't feel like you're trying to like, you know how they have like, um, if someone has a scar, they wanna cover it with makeup so it's not noticeable. There's something about you that you're like, I don't want that. Like, I don't wanna cover it up. I wanna wear them proudly. Like there's something about the scars. Like you have been scarred. You have more so emotionally than anything, but you know, this, you could have been scarred, you know, financially, maybe your credit has been messed up, you know, maybe your whole life is in ruins. Like, honestly, there's varying degrees to this, but I really do feel that this is such an intense and profound life altering experience that you've been through. And I feel like because it's been so life altering and so profound, it's like you want to wear these scars as like a badge of courage. Like you want to wear these scars and use them and transform them. Like an artist, you know, turns pain into art. Like there's a feeling that you want to use. Again, I'm hearing like woundedness to wisdom. It's like you want to use the, the pain, the trials and the tribulations that you've been through. You want to use it. You want to use, and you have, again, you have this like, it's like a natural, innate, emotional intelligence that you have about you that like you will. Do you know what I mean? Like you will. You will do this. You will do this. But right now I feel like it's time for a little bit of, clean, I'm hearing clean up crew, you know, clean up all seven. Like it's it's a little bit of a, a time for clean up right now. So let's, man, yeah, let's take a look at what we got here. Dang it. Dang it. Oh, my friends. Oh, man. Wow. Holy shnikes. You got, oh my gosh. <laughs> you guys, you have rebirthed twice. Two different decks, two different cards. You are, so many chills. You are being reborn. You are being reborn. You're being reborn. Okay, so just, just want to walk you through what I'm seeing here. I feel like <laughs> we have both vulnerability and satisfaction upside down. This is telling me that you have been in a situation, in a partnership, um, in, in this could be a marriage, a relationship, an engagement, a living situation, family situation. Again, you know, this is a general reading, so people, your situations vary. Whatever you have been involved in that has been, I'm hearing all consuming, all encompassing, whatever you have been involved in that you have been committed to, because y'all, you are devoted. You are loyal, you are devoted, you, I'm hearing, I pledge allegiance, you do. You pledge allegiance to whatever it is you say you're gonna show up for and you do. And I love that about you. Like that is such a, that's such a commodity in this day and age. Anyway, I digress. I feel like you have 
been in a situation where you've allowed yourself to be vulnerable. You've allowed yourself to get really raw. You've allowed yourself to, I'm hearing break and break down and be broken. And I feel that, honestly, I want to say like, this actually feels kind of abusive. Like whatever you've been in, there's been an element of abuse to this. Um, it's not fair. I don't like it. Like just the energy that I'm feeling as your friend, as someone who loves you, um, I don't like it. And I would want to rush in and protect you, but that's not my job. I just feel like what you've been in is this isn't okay. This is not okay. And it hasn't been, you know, to put it lightly, this hasn't been equally yoked. It hasn't been balanced, but you have really allowed yourself to trust to this person or trust this situation. You really like, there's, there's such a, like you, you basically, you've been so vulnerable that you've learned to not be vulnerable. And I feel that this has actually caused you to step into an energy where you've had to be radically honest with yourself. You've had to put your armor on, right? So you went from being vulnerable, being open, wanting to have that exchange, wanting to be committed to being radically honest with yourself and move into an energy of independence. So this could mean breaking up, leaving the situation, um, you know, quitting the job, moving away from the area, whatever it is for you, maybe all the above, you know, maybe you're literally transforming your entire life because you're, I'm hearing finally, you're finally being radically, <laughs> wow, I'm hearing finally the finale. You're being radically honest with yourself that this, this, hey, I'm hearing bullshit no more. Like you're, you're done with the bullshit. You really are. And I feel that this has, I'm hearing strengthened your convictions so that you know who you are and what you're capable of because you've given so much to this and it's also taken so much just for you to get to this place where you can be so radically honest with yourself. Like it has taken so much. It's taken so much. And if anything, I just want to commend you and praise you for how strong you've been through this. I really feel that there is a lot that has, yeah, I'm hearing a lot of conversations, a lot of abuse, a lot of things that have happened behind closed doors that other eyes weren't privy to. And you endured, you survived. There's, there's an endurance factor to this. And my loves, I want to share with you that this really does feel done. Like you've made the decision, you've made the choice. Cause again, they're bringing me back to, you know, licking the wounds, like, like you're in the wound. Like they keep bringing me to the heart too. Like your heart was in this, you know what I mean? Like you're, I'm hearing, I gave it my all. You did, you gave it your all. And I really feel like your heart was in this and you, you've pulled yourself out of it. You've pulled yourself back enough that you're actually in this phase of renewal right now and you know we have the rebirth card out twice twice a rebirth you know, just just to summarize this a rebirth is a complete change of everything like your identity where you live who you're with who you spend your time with the kind of energy exchanges that you're engaging in um your feelings of how how you feel in the world um how you're grounding ideas, how you're grounding inspiration, how you're expressing yourself, your own authentic self. I'm hearing this is all changing. This is all changing. And I feel like you're in it right now. Like you're in the change. You're in the change. But I do want to show you, my loves, that you are in a safe space. You are, you are in a safe place and a safe space now that you have removed yourself. There may be a lot of unknowns. There may be a lot of like, I don't know how the heck this is going to work out. I don't know what this is going to look like moving forward um you may yeah i feel like like you've been you've been at battle for so long you've had to be defensive for so long you've been anticipating and hoping for change or something for so long that i feel like like now is the time for you to just take a breath take a breather give yourself some major major credit for enduring and surviving this and recognize that you are in a period of rebirth and allow yourself to dream. Allow yourself to move, I'm here, move where the wind takes you. There's something about, because they're bringing me to this card, Lift Off. I open my senses to feel delicious pleasures and passions. You know, you have been, you have been mistreated. You really have. You have been mistreated. There's Because so, they're showing me, man, I, I really am so heartbroken by the imagery that I'm seeing you're showing me like like a puppy mill and like like you being 
one of the puppies, you know, like it's this feeling of like, you are so precious and so loving and like the best companion. And just like everything about you is just like the cutest. Everything about you is just the cutest. And I feel like you've had some, pardon my language, I'm going to swear here. But I'm going to be honest with you. I feel like you've had some asshole in your life that you couldn't help it. You were in love with for whatever, I'm hearing destined reason, fine, soul contract, soul connection, whatever. <laughs> but you've had some asshole responsible for your care responsible for your heart and I'm not I'm not putting all the blame on them but kind of you know kind of because I feel like the imagery that I'm, I'm being seen right now is like you have been malnourished you have been mistreated you have been neglected and abused and verbally abused and you haven't been given the proper nourishment you haven't been able to be healthy or, or sustain your health or your wellness it's almost like you had one purpose maybe you've been in a relationship where the purpose is just the physical you know like you served a physical purpose like you know i just need a man around the house just to hang things up and you know whatever i just need a woman around the house just to keep my bed warm and feed me dinner every night like there's something about where you've been that has been very like again this feeling of like puppy mill like just i just make more puppies so that i can make money like so that i can sell them it's it's that kind of energy like you're being has been used and abused and mistreated and maltreated and I feel that because you have freed yourself from this granted any puppy that comes from a puppy mill there's this you, you need this healing period right you got to get on the right nutrients you got to tend to any wounds any ticks any fleas you got to wash them up you know scrub them real good and then just love the shit out of them love the, the living but Jesus out of these sweet souls because I feel like this is what you need right now because you're being like flung forward. This rebirth that you're in, like you're being like, this is like a slingshot. Look at this. You've got rebirth and then you've got liftoff and then you've got rebirth. So like you're, th this is almost like you're never in your life where you're going to go through a transformation as big as what you're in right now. Because I feel that there's almost as like, Okay, okay. So I'm looking at the cards. Do you have your eye on someone? <laughs> Do you have your eye on someone? Because look, when I'm looking at your future, like what, what you're moving towards, right? What you're moving into next. Because right now I get it. Wound looking phase, rebirth, right? This is all good. Like it's all about you, focusing on you. But when I look at what you're moving into, we have volatility and romance. And then at the end here we have... Oh, I'm sorry, this was upside down. So we have more to learn upside down. What this is telling me is like, I don't need to know anything else. I, I know I know what I need to know. And you might have your eye, I'm hearing eyes on the prize, eyes on the horizon. You might have your eye on on some sweet peach elsewhere. There's, there's again, because we're coming back to, where was I? I open my senses to feel delicious pleasures and passions. And I can't help but, I mean, here's that passion, right? Like you have, you've been mistreated, right? You've been malnourished. So it's like, it hasn't had an opportunity to express itself. And I can't help but look at that sweet peach, right? Like that bird is just like, ooh, I just, I just can't wait to dig into that. <laughs> right? Like just something, something about it just feels so, so tasty, so tempting. Like, it's making my mouth water. You know what I mean? Like, there's this anticipation of like, oh, I just, oh, I can't wait to dive into that. And this could be another person. Or this could be another person. This simply, honestly, could be, um, you know, hopes of romance in the future. You could even be romancing yourself. But if I'm being truthful here, I really do feel like you have your eye on someone. And the fact that this is right next to the rebirth card, this actually may be someone, y'all, I'm getting chills. This may be someone that you know. This may be someone um, that you've crossed paths with already that I'm seeing, like, do you remember Craigslist missed connections? Like, like this could be something where maybe you had an opportunity at one point and like, it was just kind of a, like the timing wasn't right. Uh, yeah, I'm hearing you both had obligations to fulfill, but you're at a place now where it's like, I don't, I don't need any more information. I know, I know enough. Like, I know. I know where I'm going. I know what I'm heading towards. And you are. <laughs> you are. You're actually heading towards it pretty quickly. Um, this feels like a very intuitive movement for you. Like, you know, 
you know when you're ready to put yourself back out there. You know when you're ready to make that call or send that email or, you know, make that contact. Like you, you, you're just, I'm hearing you're leading yourself finally. You're not being directed. You're not being manipulated. You're not being controlled. You're not being told what to do. You're not operating out of fear. I actually feel like you have your own self-interest at heart, which is, I'm, honestly, I'm hearing about time. Now, usually I wouldn't say that because this world is filled with selfish people and I think we should all be a little bit more selfless. But in your case, you have been giving all of yourself and it is time for you to, this is the independence card, right? It is time for you to make your own independent choices, take your own action, which is funny because you are independently moving right into romance. <laughs> Whew, y'all. This feels really good. I hope this felt really good for you. If if you want to work together, if you want to connect, check out my shop, projectempath.com. Order a reading. We'll do a reading together. And with that, my Torian friends, I love you guys so much. And I hope this helped you. I'll see you next time. Bye.